Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 53. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 11th of May, 2020. Happy birthday, Kenneth. Here are the players. Happy birthday, Kenneth. Don't hate the players, hate the game. I'm ahead of you this time, bitch. No, and no, I'm, I'm Nico. <laughs> I'm Nico and I'm playing Zora, the best captain. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> anyway, hi. Uh, we are... Um, we are Tradcath, uh, Android, and this song is, uh... <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Colin, I'll be playing Lyco Quint, he's, uh, he's known to be a bit of a, a gumshoe, a bit of a cowboy, um, a bit, a bit of a gambler, of a, ga a rambler, gambler, a rambler, um, a soul man, mm -hmm. Colin's the rambler, yep, <laughs> a wanderer, a fondler, uh, no, I, I don't really think he's he's much of a fondler, to be honest. There's not been a lot of fondling going on. Um, but enough about my love life. Hey, I think it's a tumbleweed just finds its way into my room. I wish I had, like, a wee, like, cricket signboard that I could... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yep, just rub Next your knees week. together, tell them. <laughs> oh. Ah, I wasn't light enough, sorry. Okay. That would require keeping his legs shut. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry, I don't even think you are a hussy. I, I don't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't care. But I don't know either. Wow! <laughs> no, I don't even know if you're a hussy. I wouldn't I, care. I, I, I would <laughs> anyway. I have absolutely no knowledge or judgment in this topic. Hi, I'm Alex, and I play Weird, the Android mechanic. Hi there, I'm Callum. I'll be playing Zig, the murderous space rat from the sun. He can't keep his legs shut. He mm. can't keep his legs <laughs> shut, apparently. <laughs> um, what an intro, guys. What an intro. It was an intro. I think the latter half was fairly spot on. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We're professionals. The Bravo team. That's why we're the ones who paid money, money. <laughs> and they don't. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. I would say we're on the payroll, boy. particularly good. That sweet, sweet Patreon money, eh? Oh, yeah. Dear. Now that we've caught the listeners Rolling off guard, please sign up to our Patreon, like and subscribe on the uh, the old YouTube, and join us in Discord for all this wonderful nonsense. Expect what to I be like about our podcast is how naturalistic we are. Yeah. It's like we just jump on and chat right with our mates. I'm oh. back, sorry. Have you spoke to me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I've lost my spot in the script. Where are we? If you were willing to pay me money to... Do most things, then <laughs> they <you> will. <laughs> uh, also, to be fair, uh, this goes to the players and the folks at home. If you pay me money, uh, I will just give you uses of the wish spell. So, okay. uh, cool. So, that, one pound. Does that depend on what game we're in, or no? <clears throat> okay, because I'm having some trouble on Fallout Four at the moment. Okay, yeah. And have a wish spell. Uh, ah, I believe the answer is mod. <laughs> I have. Yeah, that oh, is. well, I'm out of solutions. Is it well, yeah. Pounder Roll, Ryan? <laughs> pounder Reroll, you mean? Because <laughs> I'm happy for Pounder Roll, but you might be in debt. Do a lot more skill checks if that's the way it goes. <laughs> anyway, who remembers what happened last time on Starfinder, the game we're here to play, Fragments of Eternity? Oh, fuck, what did happen last time? Um, there was a lot of looking about for uh, jobs in Hive Market for us. I went to a lovely saloon, mm -hmm. a sort of outdoorsy affair. The drink hall. And, uh, yeah, the drink hall. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, be a cowboy, baby. And, you know, swaggered in, spoke to the boss. Do you remember his name? that Lyco charm. Um, grinning Durva. Uh, Durva. Durva, yep. There you go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Durva. any of his um, buddies? His henchmen, as it were? Uh, there was large boy and mm -hmm. human. Oh, Fat Tony. So there was Nelly, yeah, sure, the sure. showbad bouncer. There was Roby, the, uh, why not say, henchman human. Um, yeah, I was pretty close then. Um, um, and Malak, the uh, the tech guy, who doesn't have a, a race it. attached to him, so he's about. just Malak. Mm. Every Maybe that Malak. is his race. Yeah, Malak is Malak, and how dare you question otherwise. Also, um, dear. Callum, to answer your uh, question from last week that you never really asked, 
Uh, it's because there was a double L Callum on my Steam friends list playing a game at that point in time, and I literally just flipped it around. So you weren't. Yeah, you I, weren't... I thought so. It's like, as soon as you said Molak, I was like, that's my name! <laughs> And I was like, oh, but no, I sci fied it up by mind. changing the C to a K, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm just waiting for the N alb to show up as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, what else happened last time? So, we had a uh, space cowboy. Got nudes. Called. Got nudes, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Nudes. Actually got to met, met Craig, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You did meet Craig. Um, Not quite what you expected, but. Uh... No, but, you know, it's good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw your plate. He he looked at his six Ru arms and saw. The, uh, like, oh, I got a gun. Yeah, and then yeah. Sure he yeah, armed you. Gave me a gun. gun. Mm -hmm. As he told you to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> he did not say that M multiple times. That's that's what I heard. That this is Tommy's is calm with KYS. <laughs> Word on the street. <laughs> he is a troll. Hmm. Oh, he's a scatterminder. But yeah, I was yeah, going to say that, but then I decided to be scraping the arse of the barrel. That's what I'm here for. That's what he specializes in. The arse oh. of the bar. I specialize in arse scraping. Legs um, akimbo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway. Well, it helps with the arse scraping. This is it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is an access all chat, apparently. I... What we should do is, like, have, like, a fucking tweet or Reddit post. No, what we should do is play the RP. That, that <laughs> well, actually, just to be controversial here. What? A no. Novel concept. <laughs> this is not the content people come. To. No, this is just content. Nobody comes here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Reddit RPG. Yep. Uh, we should we should include more dinosaurs for a new fan. Uh, yeah, actually, um, sure. Do we have? Are they fan? a four-year-old? <laughs> uh, dinosaurs wow. are uh, awesome. How dare you? I know. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> We know four years aren't allowed to watch this. Oh dear! Was that just a was <laughs> that just a dig, Cal? My my new subscriber was it? <laughs> no, I wasn't a dig at all. I think um, <laughs> should actually, like, actually, you know, try and like you know target <laughs> our, our audience. Uh, well, I don't really want to talk about it on recording, so here we are. Um, Some kind of fucking nerd. Patreon. It was. It's definitely a Patreon conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else, guys? Happened last time. No one knows. Uh, Captain Vision, I read that fucking judge because um, I got bumped. You and uh, CC did, in fact, trash church. Yep. I'm beginning to find my kindred spirit in CC, to be honest, man. It's great. Mm -hmm. He's got to do everything that I want to do, but I'm not allowed to because I'm the captain. It's great. I like it. He's <laughs> 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 mm, like a rampant Eid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I'm sure there's a vest cord for that, isn't there? So, <laughs> but, yeah. It's called fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the vest word for fun. <laughs> Where did fun go? Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you and you and we CC did destroy up a church, yep. Yeah. Um, but this clarifies because it's like they they essentially ripped this off, right? <laughs> they started it. <laughs> exactly. They stole five other credits, famous all right oh, my <laughs> Sure. Um it's just some sort of tax scheme. What else? Um <laughs> stay in character. What else <laughs> <laughs> What else is uh on the old uh, previously on? I feel like we're yeah, missing, we're, on we're the missing previously on. I mentioned the visions of, 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 you know, the journey ahead, in a sense. Not the, more a e vision. Yep, I think that's how we ended. Were you seeing the way? Think of it as detective vision. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't stand here because melty. Stand here because no melty. Yeah. Mostly that. So, yep, you got visions from uh, Ramasethu. That's true. Yeah. What was that? Zigathur? Um, I could be I could be remembering wrong, but uh, was it the same uh, armored person that came off the transport? We established it was the same armor. Same armor, yes. Same armor, right. at least. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, blue. I think he did see the same armor. Yeah. Blue, blue armor. Um, blue same, armor. same as the the vision from a, the rooftop looking down before he's got on the transport when he's uh -huh. you know ship posting and listening to blood results. Um, 
on the phone. Ah, yes, yeah. blood results. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's the best Akatonian uh, ska band there is. And uh, Blood yeah. Results is a good name too. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> all their songs would have to be bullshit. Oh, like, the junk rats. Yeah, we go. The, junkrat, the new junk rats. The new junk rats. The new junk rats. The new. 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 Yeah, because like uh, it's so far in the future that new metal is cool again. <laughs> there is no future with way that happens. No, I, I went to see uh, well... Cornell Biscuit only a few years ago, and I fucking enjoyed it. And yeah. I would do it again. That doesn't <gasps> make it cool though. <laughs> mm. Anything I do is cool. <laughs> if it weren't cool, would I do it? Yes. No. <laughs> 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 well, it's a fifty-fifty chance, wasn't it? I guess I this is. Just, yeah, I mean, this is just going to be the shade session, then. I guess. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and I say that wholeheartedly, absolving us for all the previous sessions, apparently. Um, yeah. Anything else, or is that us? Mm-hmm. Can I think of anything else? Well, we all met up again, and then one between, um there was a connection between Weird Five and uh, Darwa. Darwa. I like that. Yeah, Grinner. Weird Five. <laughs> weird Five? Did it got weird nine? That's what you said. Deep Space Five, yeah. Uh, yep. Nick Space Five. <laughs> there we are. Babylon Weird. Yep. Next mm-hmm. generation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weirdly, most of this is all valid, to be honest. So. Weirdscape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clapping emoji, you. <laughs> Quantum emoji art. I'm gonna stop that now. It's annoying. <laughs> When's that ever stopped you? Yeah, I was gonna say like it's session fifty three, man. It's not stopped you yet. You know how to be um, <laughs> and that's part of the charm. Um, <laughs> Listen, these sexuals who have sex and are attracted to people are valid. That's all I can. Say. I don't know where you're going with that. So we're gonna put that in a box to decide, saying that. <laughs> Those views do not represent those of the uh, Tales of Triumph <laughs> but they do franchise. The views of my podcast, which is we have a box for that. Is it the truck? We should have been using it. Yeah, um, it's kind of where Colin broadcasts from, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the box. The box. Yeah. Um, Welcome to the box. Let's talk about goals. So that's something game related. Um, <laughs> You go pretend. Yeah, I'll do what I can. I wanna be a fucking cowboy, baby. That's a goal, right? Yeah, sure. Put it put on, yeah. Um, I think we should continue with the, the current ones. The current yep. ones was that, because my audio definitely didn't hear that. Um, Did I say current or something like that? I don't know. No, I heard the current ones. <laughs> I didn't say cunt. I mean, I would say... I would, I would say that word. I'm not actually drunk yet. I'm mostly tipsy at best. Oh, um, and, uh, goals, I list them. Nico, the what's goal state. one? I'm a fucking state. Do we even have a Nico? No, we don't. Uh, Nico? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, right, so... I'm just going to top up the painkillers now, shall I? Yeah. Find a suitable mm-hmm. source of income for the crew with an Akaton, and I would say that we're kind of trying to progress that currently. Yeah, sure. I think we've made some strides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big steps. What about... Uh, Goal two, next. Or, I mean, don't it's, ask me what food in my face. I, I really mean, I mean, weird, but yeah. I'll say, I'll it, say it. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> if there is healthy boundaries between party membreros, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, I, I feel like that is, uh, it's a bit of a moon shoot, right? <laughs> but. It's a nice goal to have. I think it is a healthy goal to have, yes. Is it going to happen? We will see. I don't have anything to fill the gap right now, so... Because the the other goal is also mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so hook up That's with fair. the old Nick's crew. Not only is it fair, it's valid. Valid. And Colin, next goal. Speak to Ramasethu about her contact us and Bob's quest. Uh, I think I kind of expected to probably do it last session, but obviously we got uh, not waylaid, but we, we decided to spend some time and Hive Mark got unsurprisingly and meet up with the rest of the crew. Um, 
So I think that's kind of our most pressing goal right now. And I think we should keep with it because I see it being solved in the very near future. Mm -hmm. Not solved, resolved, solved. It's not a mystery. Or is it? Who knows? <gasps> it may Zig. be. Zig. Discover why Edgar is slash was on Akaton. Akaton. I don't know why I said that. Like I, mean, I guess I'll also ask for Zig to give us the goal as well then. <laughs> um, thanks, Colin. Um, <laughs> oh, damn, you've noticed that you served your play. <laughs> I, I noticed it as well. I was like, oh. <laughs> Colin uses usurp GM, and it was super effective against Zig, apparently. <laughs> Carry on, Zig, at your leisure. <laughs> My powers grew. Akaton Odin was, is Edgar Y Discover? Discover Y Edgar is slash <laughs> on Akaton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. God, it's like a mini game getting to the game, isn't it? Uh, well, it's that little that game of Galaga before charm. you get to Tekken. Yeah. Um, do, do you remember? Do you remember when like you're installing games and they'd have like little bejeweled things in again, the loading in the PlayStation One when you had to play like Tekken or something? It had that little game mm -hmm. at the start. Uh, it had Gladius or whatever it was yeah. called. Whatever it was called. Whatever the name called. Buddy top and sure mm -hmm. what the hell was and also remember Tekken Force that's not the same thing it's just a, a, a uh, we, we actually lost the end of whatever you said about Tekken 4 so Tekken Force do you remember that was oh Tekken Force bad. ah we did get that yes. I just thought you were going to say Tekken 4 Streets of Rage mode almost yeah like. <laughs> Chicken, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I remember that so. If you vividly. remember that, you are no longer young. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I know, man. If I remember chicken, then I'm definitely chicken. <laughs> so, I guess if you don't want to change or adjust the goals, I guess we'll get. Started. I'm good at doing my goals. No, man, we're both the wall here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Our goals to yeah. the wall. That doesn't. To the window. Nah, I'm not singing that song. It's very rude. To the wall. That's sweat. No. So <laughs> <laughs> Snyder's a pan over the beautiful mm. pretzel pieces. So good. If somebody has listened to this 17 and a half minutes of us, uh, <laughs> just... I guess I could be entertaining. It gets if, them in the mood, man. It gets them psyched up, psyched man. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, just I'm ready! If this game is still running by the time you hear this, that you're welcome to guest star in the session as a thanks for me, but mostly let's see how you can cope with it too, kind of... Punishment. You can just join. <laughs> it's the easiest way is to just join in. Yeah, right. That's what I'm, doing, I'm, I'm welcoming them in. <laughs> you know, it's provocative. It gets the people going. Yeah, right. You see? Um, but we also need proof of you actually having listened to this. So I need a 17 and a half minute video of you guys, by the way, uh, just listening yeah. to this 17 and a half minutes of video. Yeah. So you're gonna have to go listen to it again. <laughs> yep. Um, but you know what? That's worth it, right? Gets the view count up. Um, mm. that's what don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button uh, ring the bell, ding a ling yep, mm -hmm. absolutely just tan it in so the, the camera starts off at the sun burning away it's just a big screen full of fire out of the fire comes Starfinder, the fragments of eternity from the flames. And then the camera pans up past the big floating letters in space that nobody's ever questioned for years. And then uh, <laughs> we don't want that. And it zooms all the way. <laughs> we pass by Abalone, we pass by Castrova, we pass by the wreckage of Absalom Station, and we. Uh, we pass by a ship making its way towards Akaton as we transition from normal space into drift space. And we have an android looking lady with her feet up in a fairly large looking bridge with a very formally dressed Vesk hologram standing next to her looking like he's trying to explain something very aggressively as 
she looks very nonchalant about the whole thing, eating an energy bar, and she just crams it into her face. And then we slowly move the camera beyond that scene. We transition back from drift space back into normal space, and our camera follows ourselves all the way down into the middle of nowhere on Akaton. And we see you lot. So. In the middle of user, Akaton. These are walking. All the way into the horrible desert. Ah, yes. So yes. I, I well, just... I mean, horrible is a pejorative. I guess it's quite pleasant, actually. <laughs> You've not spent much time there, then. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm a little desert. Eh, I like it. Yeah, cold blooded, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no blooded. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, how how are the spirits then between the party? Are they high? Are they like business modes? Like what? And... I'm seeing different colours, uh, so that's an interesting experience. Yeah, like your vision is most definitely a bit whack currently. It is. Um... I'm probably quite quiet. I think of like uh... I think I'm focused as well. Maybe. I mean, I'm about to go meet a. Uh... Uh, Bone Sage. I can never remember the name of him for some reason. Like, Bone even Sage, though it's such yeah. a simple name. Bone yeah. Sage, yeah, I know, but it's yeah. such a simple name. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and that's probably... I don't like that. That's probably. Probably, this will be, what, the third Bone Sage you'll have met, I guess, yeah. technically? And I still ain't used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Can I just apologise? If anyone can hear the fucking herring goes... Nope, we can't. Um, don't I, I'm in ear. I'm sorry. Just as a general statement, yep. And um, yeah, I so so yeah, we've got Lyco leading the way up front, keeping yep. relatively quiet. We've got, I guess, Zora pathfinding his way. Uh, Tracking. What about uh, Nix Five's new designation, Weird? And <laughs> Sig. <laughs> what a team! <laughs> uh, oh, I'm doing okay. Mm. Well, uh, I think Zig's very kind of like head forward, just like focused on what's going to happen as opposed to thinking about anything else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no one out here to kill, so that's a positive. Yeah. Take, 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 take his mind off murder, I guess. Um, no, uh, th yeah, no, not wanting to kind of think back on what's, what's happening behind him. He's looking at what's like, going to happen. In front of him. Okay. So in terms of you, Zora and uh, Lyco, that's probably about it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, there's also a lot of dirt. Yeah. Or sand. How or is, like how have you explained to the group then, right, Lyco? Like how did you did you explain anything to them about your? Uh, uh, poorly is probably the answer to that because so it's give not us, really. Give us that scene. I think that's possibly an important one to okay. understand how people don't wander off into the the gooey melty bits, right? Mm. Yeah. So this is sort of happening as I've turned back. I've been leaving the uh, the church, the Abadar church that we've been uh, discussing. It, you know, turned back to speak to address them about that and uh, ask them if they can come, blah blah blah, or rather if they want. Because he was going to go alone. You know, got vision said. Uh, they can come, but hurry up. Okay. So I turn back, explain that a little bit, and that's where we kind of cut off. Um, I think having done that, he would probably just wait and see. Like, did we actually? We 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 kind of had a bit after that where we decided that we were going right. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. So we all sort of talked together. Okay. So you know, if if if, if we've spoken already, I can't. Like what was said in terms of uh, that we're all going as a group. Uh, okay. Right. <clears throat> Gent character. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, something along the lines of don't stay off the path or something. Yeah, I so. Ended that. No, I mean, I'm doing character. It's just taking a second to think exactly how to freeze it, right? Or, or rather, to freeze it like Lyco. 
So, uh, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do this together as a group, I'm gonna need, to, first of all, I'm gonna need someone to make sure Craig doesn't run off. Uh, no offense, see. No offense? No offense. He, no kinda offense. Look, he, he looks up at you, then looks up at Zora, and, like, folds two sets of his arms, uh, while still scratching his butt, and then just starts, like, shouting at Zora again for whatever slight has happened between I, I, him and Zora. I look uh, at I, Zora I, and shrug. <laughs> I, don't, don't look at me, he's the one that insulted you. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I was, uh, I was just friendly. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's a path we have to take to get there safe. I, I don't know the ins and outs, I don't know the I just know because I, I, it's like I can see it. I can see the road ahead. Um, but I, I think, obviously, they're they've they've sort of laid it out for me in my mind, and I'm just follow me closely and uh, and make sure that no one gets distracted. That, uh, we should be able to make the journey in one piece. And then he sort of like you know opens his hands in a kind of yeah, uh, in a sort of gesture of not uncertainty but like what you're gonna do you know like that mm -hmm. that's what it is if we're if we're doing this you're kind of having to to sort of follow my lead because I think he is probably slightly apologetic about just sort of going right well if if we're wandering out into the desert I'm in charge mm -hmm. he, he he doesn't necessarily want to take charge it's not his technically Zara's crew. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I think he would be a little apologetic about that. So he's you know, he's doing that now. I'll just be yeah. like calm down like oh you're no stage in a coup. <laughs> like, <laughs> just uh oh, no, I just stage in a coup. <laughs> no, I, I just uh just keep to the keep to the path I take. And if anything, um if I can direct you around anything that comes up I, I will but I think he'll you know I I, I don't want to say it because well if you say it but it it seems like it should be pretty straightforward I mean obviously uh, Ramasethu is, is kind of giving me guidance here and I'm not really good at putting all this mystical stuff together but I, I, I feel like I feel like it should be pretty easy going. Stick together and see. So, uh, what do we say, team? With the way. Nod. Nod of acknowledgement to the captain. Should we record the way that we go in case we need to get back without assistance? Probably a good idea as well. Um,. Do you have anything that could mark the way almost? Camera phones. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. It's the future. <laughs> or you that is the present. The wire all the way down. That's probably not fishing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, does like anybody a have a loaf wire. of bread? No, like to answer that question, though, like your smartphones, your comms could do that, right? Like it's just like yeah, a yeah. route marker, right? Ah, uh, yeah, we said they've got everything that are usual. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like mobile if, phone if a smartphone can do it, your comms can do it, right? That's how I feel about mm. them. Yeah. So I'm playing to Rude online. <laughs> <laughs> did, did someone, did someone anyway. infrared transfer that to you? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so uh, having said this piece, like, oh, just sort of, like, you know, look around the group, make sure he feels like everyone's heard him and take off. Just flies away Iron Man style. Bye! I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not the one in power armor, so no. Um, but yeah. I, as you... Like, I guess, yeah. Quite a chunk into the journey, right? Like, maybe like a good 12 hours into the journey. Right? You... You realise that the, the way shifts. Right? Like, as if there's winds that are moving the problematic areas around. That makes sense? Like the corridor of safety alters. Do I feel like this is a natural thing? Like it's because of the desert? Or is this? does this feel like a mystical thing that's happening? 
Um, I don't know if I can answer that. I think Lyco needs to answer that. Okay. But, right? Because uh, I don't know how I would answer that for Lyco. See, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I don't know if you've got something that can give you the definitive on that. I mean, is there something I can roll? Because, I mean, your vision lets you see it, but it doesn't mean to say that causes it, right? So, not enough. Like, I don't, unless you have something that lets you see that, then I don't know. Um. Yeah, but it's not like, okay. it's not like instantaneously you were supposed to take a right angled right, but then it becomes a right angled left. Do you know I mean? It's not as crazy wacky maze is that it's, again, as I said, as if winds are shifting it. Okay, well, I think in that case, yeah, he, he probably isn't put his feet down and, you know, make a, a, a declaration as one thing or the other. I think, I think he's... Uh, yeah, maybe say something to, to advise people, you know, to be on, on their toes. Uh, you know, uh, if if people are close enough to hear him, because I don't think he, he's he's going to shout or anything. You know, anyone's close by, like the cap, I think was sort of second. Um, would certainly hear like he's saying it all out to the the group in general. But uh, something, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to freeze it. Uh, maybe something like. Um, Uh, keep. No. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm having a hell of a time freezing this. But yeah, like um, you know, keep keep your eyes open. I mean, I guess you can really see it, but uh, I feel like things are shifting. Like, uh, I don't know. It's it's. It's definitely not super stable. There is maybe the path. Maybe the path just changing as the dunes drift or whatever. But yeah, but now it's, it's weird. He he probably looks a bit like um. Not lost, but uh, out of his element. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously, yeah, he's undead, but he, he's not a person of a sort of magical inclination. And he's only a bit of a vision quest, almost. Yeah, right. Uh, and he's like, he, he, he's looking at this stuff, and he is seeing it with his own eyes, and yet still it's not quite real it's like a map that's been placed over the world like he's seen he's like he's got a fucking hud on mm -hmm. um and i think that must be a very strange and surreal experience regardless of how weird your life is um excuse me to suddenly be looking at the world through this weird filter yeah because you don't um, even have like it's not selective for you either which is probably yeah, the disconcerting part mm -hmm. like i think yeah as he walks along you know, he'll be able to see ahead of him plenty in his peripheral and what have you, so it's not like he's going to need to, but I think I think despite that, he'll probably be looking around quite a lot anyway. Yeah, especially um, the, kind of the, the borders between the, the monochrome and the, you know, yeah. the, the, the technicolor. Um, Just sort of trying to get a sense for what this... Uh, and it's not even really an other landscape, I was going to call it an other landscape, but this alternate take on the landscape mm -hmm. is like he's definitely feeling out what it means to be wandering around um with this different perspective and uh yeah like i don't think he he obviously he's speaking and he's, he's a little bit airy uh, i don't think he's necessarily looking around to keep an eye on the group a whole lot i think his attention is mostly focused on the landscape yeah that makes sense well, everybody else as I said we're 12 hours um, in I feel like fucking 
so I would probably just be paying attention to Lyco because I mean, well, yeah, he's essentially getting told there's something in a room that he can't see that will kill him. So he's like, I'm, I'm just not, just not going to take my eyes off, off him, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, a reasonable strategy. Yes, yes. Never know when crazy psychedelics come into play in these situations. Valid, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably just be concentrating on trying to stick with like. What about CC? Are you doing anything about CC? Or? Um, I'm probably hunting his hunt. If okay. he's in the whole handhold thing, it's so cute. Uh, his little like three-legged backpack things walking for him, and he's just kind of hung there. Um, but yeah, he'll be holding your hand. He's the topmost of his hands. Will be holding yours. Um, okay. But like, I'm assuming you'll just be checking on him every so often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure that yeah. yeah. Some hours he's not ago, slipped out his suit or something. <laughs> no. Did we have any supplies on us, by the way? Some hours ago, he fell asleep. Put it that way. I've got about fifteen ration bars in my pocket. Still, yeah. so right. So we'll we'll make it through. We'll live. I don't know about food wise. We'll live. I don't know about. I mean, he's all ate like what? twelve hours ago. So yeah, like yeah. But in this kind of heat, you're going to start to dehydrate a little, and you're starting. To... I assume the desert's hot. Uh, yeah, the corridor you're walking in seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. Unless just or all getting hammered into these like crates of grain. No, no, like... <laughs> no they're gone. They're, well, they're not gone, but they're on <laughs> the eleven level. Like... So to to reiterate, the corridor you're walking in, Lyco, is not warm. It is in fact very, very climate controlled. Okay. So very temperate, very livable. Yep. For want of a better word. Yep. Uh, it, okay. is al- it is almost. Um, you know, air conditioned, as it were, to the point where that's odd, right? Yeah. But a lot of that it's... is kind of hard to tell when you're all wrapped in suits, right? So. I mean, I think he would probably guess, given the the nature of the path that he's taking, that it's not naturally occurring. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's valid. I think yeah. that's a reasonable assumption. Um, yeah, and I think I think you'll sort of continue in that mode, um, kind of trusting the party to more or less be behind them without frequently checking on them. Let's find out then. What about uh, weird? I think once, like I said, that uh, the whole thing's the weather system's quite changeable. Uh, I think weird. Yeah, tries to work out if you can account for it. And then probably quickly realised he has absolutely no information on that. So the it's just switching off the recording. Yeah. Each step. You can still have like twelve hours worth of that data though. That's not an issue. I um, yeah. At this point, um, and it's maybe just like us realising that it is changing almost to be somewhat unmappable, right? Um, yeah. Otherwise, he's just uh, yeah, stomping through the desert with his. Uh, I imagine his helmet full of podcasts and, you know, lessons on skittermanders or whatever. Okay. <laughs> helmet yeah. full of podcasts. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, because I think this is, he's used to this, trudging mm-hmm. through the desert. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and why not make it productive, right? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It's 12 hours of learning. Yeah. yeah. It's fair. Mm-hmm. It's fair. Awkwardly interrupting them and sighing each time somebody tries to give an instruction as if he doesn't know how to walk in a desert. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I lived here. This is where I'm from. <laughs> this is my home. <laughs> the clothes that I've been wearing since we were level one have been desert acclimated survival yep. gear, specifically on the character sheet. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Mhm. The fucking survival poncho. <laughs> <laughs> Zig, what's you up to? Uh, yeah, I think Zig's like just really focusing on not getting. Lost. Um, that has been difficult through this campaign. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's not one on the rose, staring very deadly in the back, on, like we said. Keeping, you know, keeping like eyes on on Michael. Um, As well, you should. Yes. 
because, quite frankly, he doesn't want to die in the desert. So the shot I've got is just Lyco stopping every now and then, hands on shoulders, or sorry, hands on hips, sorry, that shoulder is weird. Uh, maybe, maybe hands on shoulders, and then looks around for like the next like point of uh, the journey, and you've just got over the shoulders each side, you've got Zora staring intently at his head at one side, and then Zig staring at his head at the other side, and then just weird zoning out into his podcast podcast <laughs> end. and then um, yeah I think he's walked for uh, quite a good bit use uh, over the, the course of say like the next maybe two hours um, you start to see like the remains of people that have clearly attempted the journeys as well I am off into the yeah. no, off into the no-go zone um, so yeah um, like maybe just like the winds kicking up some reflective material or whatever. It's probably Zig that catches sight of that first, and then don't know. Does Zig maybe wish to comment? Has you noticed that? Yeah, I think he would just he would just, um maybe maybe they they kind of like notice that, like in his profile after watching him, like oh um and then uh, he'd probably kind of stop and just go uh, guys. And then point. Hmm. What are we looking at? Look. Oh, you're very quiet, Nico. I, I missed oh, whatever. Nico I was kind of mumbling that. Out. I was just oh, looking okay. in general direction. <laughs> Is it something behind the tinfoil? Probably like covering my eyes, trying to look at it better, but. Because of the uh, the weirdness of my vision, not really seeing what it is they're looking at, I'm imagining. Yeah, and as I said, you just use get the description I gave, and that's looking at it. Okay. Oh, you dropped Zig. Dead. Zig drops dead. Ooh. Rip. Hey, wow. he gets back up. Yeah. He gets back Sorry. up again. Everything went no quiet. <laughs> we'll come back. Also, everything wow. just was quiet. That's all. <laughs> oh no, but like, uh, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, yeah, I'm just being but yeah, so everybody turns to Zig and is like, "What do you see, Zig?" And Zig mutes himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Panic! Panic. Panic. He's part. You're going to stage fright, man. Mm -hmm. He's going to stage fright. Just give it a sec. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, there we go. He's sorted. <laughs> no, <laughs> barging into the room with a Gilbert and Sullivan bit going. Gilbert and Sullivan. Why, Mangy? Why? <laughs> Um, nice. sorry, what did I miss? You missed Everybody's looking at you, one done, what yeah, you like, What? What did you see? Alright, now, now you're going to have to remind me what I see, because that's just totally Something throwing me glistening. off the, <laughs> the trail. Shit. So you Something see, glistening. You see someone's suit, their survival suit, glistening out in the desert. That's right, if, okay. So yes. it's designed to reflect heat We're away still from there. them, and they're quite clearly long dead. I think I think Zig would just say, is, "Is that some someone someone there?" And then I think he would kind of just run, like not maybe not run, but kind of just um, speed walk. Can I athletically grab him? You may. <laughs> so you let go of uh, Cece's hand. Oh no, oh, fuck! Dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Zig? <laughs> I don't know if I do it anyway. Yep. <laughs> and then you run over and you grab Zig. Yeah. Okay, so Zig, you're just, I guess, almost tackled by the captain. Oh, stay off the path. Uh, yeah. I think maybe, maybe at that, maybe at that point, maybe that's where Zig would kind of see that they look like they're long dead. Or if if that's like visible, um, and um, just say like maybe maybe kind of shake his head and rub his eyes a bit and go. Right. Yes. Uh. Sorry. Um. Michael. Yeah. Just. Um, we're probably going to encounter a few of those along the way. Um, surprised he made it this far. I mean, it could just be happenstance, like people people die in in big old deserts. But uh, Ben, do you, know, you have, people... do you have a scope for your sniper? 
Uh, I do, but... Just saying, it's, that would help you, obviously. Doesn't it have, technically, it's magnification, right? Yeah, it will do. It's quite a range. It's something like 700. So, yeah. 500? It's not the best, but it's... A... Might help yeah, you okay. get a look at stuff, right? Uh, I, 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 you know what? In fact, uh, never mind that. What I will do is, like, rather than speak, I'll just sort of raise my hand to him for a second. Like, sling it off my shoulder. Raise it and look down the scope. So give me a, and a, a, a wee cheeky perception. Yeah, one second, sorry. I've got a new keyboard and it like the the arrangement of the room it's awkwardly placed, so I had to do the thing. Uh perception. A five. Yeah, looks up like there was a crew of maybe you can kinda of make out more people behind the first. Looks like there's maybe five or six of them. Okay. All um look like they've been there for a long time. Like their suits are like ravaged. Mm. So not like shredded like a feral beast attack of some kind. No, just worn with time and mm -hmm. weather. Am I getting anything else about them that might be a general or... mysticism and culture for that great old overlap of skill. <laughs> oh, the mystoculture. The mystoculture, uh, yeah. And, ooh, culture. Hmm. <laughs> like in the after effect noises of the success rating. For those <laughs> of, for those listening to the podcast, that's how you know if it's a good or bad roll. Um, 13 and 26. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, maybe you have memories of the fact that, like, Negative energy is bad for your existence, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I know that pretty well. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. So it's maybe that not necessarily that they've been there for a long time, but maybe the effects of you know the environment have somewhat ravaged them. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what I will do then is like lower the scope and go. Just stay in the path. There's. There are more of them. Looks like a whole party. Probably just ventured off the path. Do you mean they Sling knew that path? Mm -hmm. If they made it this far, uh, they were either lucky or coming from an awkward location, like well, I don't know, we're, we're like the mountain range or something. Mm -hmm. they, they, I mean, I, I I don't know. Maybe they stumbled this far into it, but uh, I guess they probably had something keeping them track. Mm. They're not... I, I wouldn't try and... Uh, I wouldn't try and recover anything from bodies. Might not have been might not have been there that long. The, uh... Oh, hold on. Seen something in 20 server connection. Not corrupted. Uh, corrupted yeah, it's been doing that. Not corrupted yourself. It's been doing that we've got lately. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hadn't seen yeah, that before. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you'd be like, uh, it might not have been exposure to the elements. They might just have been they might just have walked into the wrong area. At, uh, so, yeah, let's not uh, let's not venture in and find out. I uh, I don't know if anyone else could chance it, but I'm not really interested in doing it anyway. Mm. You know, slinging sling the gun back over the shoulder, sort of as he says his piece. Yeah, and for like the the most part as well, there's not like any like wildlife kicking around either, right? There's no no way uh, fauna of any kind, I guess, around here. That's like the first sign of any kind of once life there was, you know. So, okay, well, I, I suppose like sort of turning back around to look back path and find it again and continue, uh, but you would say like. No, not quite over his shoulder, kind of just seeing it to the world aloud as he looked over the other way. It's like, uh, you know, there's uh, <clears throat> not a lot of life here anyway, but uh, 
I'm guessing whatever used to be in these uh be in this desert is gone. Maybe uh <laughs> maybe Weird knows a bit more about that, but I think we're safe as can be so long as we stick to the path. Be good. I think um could just kind of uh, clear his throat and then <clears throat> kind of like that and then you just go hmm right okay I would not <sighs> and I'd kind of like brush a bit of the sand off his eggs back that I'd probably go on him by tackling him that <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> uh, turn and see if CC's ran off please tell me he's not ran off no just like, thank down. god CC walks up to a uh, zig and also um brushes off the uh, the sand um, like very like mimicry style but then Ooh. make sure that your hand's on the gun that he gave you okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just, kinda, just kinda, does like, it mean? just kind of slowly nods at you and stares up at you I think um, Zig just kind of um I think he ha just takes the gun in his hand and just keeps it in his hand and just like nods at CC, hoping that that'll He's telling you satisfy to protect him. yourself. Maybe, right. Maybe it's protect yourself and not kill yourself. I don't know. Maybe he's like... telling me to stop being a coward and be the one who pulls the trigger. Um... Oof, oof. Oh. I mean, yeah, probably. Oof. So. CC then, like, as you, like, nod back at him and grip the gun, look in front of him, kind of just, like, nods and kind of closes his eyes and then, like, taps your kind of hand that's gripping the, uh, the gun kind of, like, twice and then just heads off back to, to Zora's side and he just starts making, like, the grabby fist motion with his hand towards yours. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute. I'll take you, Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the way it goes, like, wandered on, like, a, a few mm. feet ahead and Probably weird ties too. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, as soon as uh, Zora takes Cece's hand, the little legs come back out the backpack and lift him off the ground, and then he just kind of hangs there while he's being kind of just dragged by Zora, really, as the legs stabilize <laughs> him. <laughs> Minted. <laughs> He's only got little legs, right? I know, I know. <laughs> but he's well, he just pick him up, but yeah. it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, so... You managed to walk into two feet, I respect that. Yeah, right. Or... He's in two robot it's, feet. It's right uh, into like... two robot feet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's similar enough. Yeah. But yeah, you start to see off in the distance, like, oh, the spires and, um, you know, like, almost smoke, like, off in the horizon. You start to, like, come over the the dunes of the, the desert and the formations of the hard rock floor. And not the cafe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like you, you come across this eventually after like maybe another hour of walking. Um, hey. Whoa! I'm uh, looking this gold at first for some reason. <laughs> 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 Looks like we're here. Yeah. Turn around mm -hmm. like that. In fact, wait, do I see anything between us and it? Is like, is there any danger zone, or are we just sort of free to approach it however we choose? Uh, there is a, like, there is like a corridor in which to go. Okay, so turn to me. Uh, you know, um, don't want to see like stay frosty or something like that, but uh, um. <laughs> okay, you know, just let's uh, keep our eyes on the prize. It's um, no, and that's not how you would say it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to phrase it, but it, it keeps on going to shit today. Um, uh, you know what? Something simple like that, like uh, you know, mind your step, me, guys. Yeah, something simple, yeah, like that, you know. Stay with me, guys. It's uh, 
We're not clear just yet. Steady as she goes, etc. No. <laughs> We're not a boat. Dar she blows. Not yet. <laughs> um, as you start making your way down the kind of big rocky kind of side facing uh, towards this, because it's in the kind of bit of a basin, you you realise just how big the thing is and how far away you actually were from it. Um, mm. So after maybe about forty odd minutes of actually traversing the ground between you and getting bigger, like closer to the the big cruiser, you you see that there's actually loads of like people working at it up close. Um, how close are we to the people? Uh, you're you're reasonably far from the people. So it wouldn't look weird to them if I drew my gun no. and looked at them through the scope. Thing. Okay, so I look at them through the scope of my sniper rifle. I am shocked by this action based on the previous question. Um, <laughs> yeah, do you want to give me a roll? I do. Bear with me, I have to reopen my thing because I, I had to reload it. And Perceptioni? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, bam. Uh, you see people in various states of uh, life, right? Um, okay. Much like, remember the the people you met along the way to the station, like when you were stolen by Sindile. Yeah. And you met like various people that looked like maybe once they were living, but then got like maybe converted, and other people that were clearly dead originally. Um, yeah. I say clearly dead originally is a weird phrase, but yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, would you dead? Yeah. Okay. And so you know, sort of having stopped for a second to look through that, I lower the gun, turn back, and say. Looks like they're all undead. No surprises. I'm still not sure how we're supposed to feel about that. Honestly... Your comm uh, goes good, and it says, are you a religious man? Mm. That's a complicated, complicated question. And then I think I'm um, like... CC lets go of Zora's hand and then just kind of clacks its way closer to you and its three little legs. Um, and it just kind of looks up at you. I look down at him. And it kind of just like stares and kind of like blinks. I'm sorry, CC. Can I help you? And then over your column it says, I enjoy complicated answers. Okay. Um, well, I, I should have expected that. Um, I certainly have philosophical beliefs that relate to spirit and soul, but given that those are in some ways measurable things, I don't know whether that is considered religious. I put no stock in any one organized religion, which that's for certain. Um, but, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm beyond seeing non uh, empirical answers to questions as valid. I think, Zara, this is the longest you've ever seen CCB still for. This is fantastic. How about yourself, CC? Are you a religious man? I think, like, its legs kind of put it on the ground, eh, and it turns kind of like round in its backpack harness and, like, goes into its backpack, starts scurrying through stuff, and then it lifts out. It looks almost like a chess pawn, but, like, the top end's a bit bigger. Um, and it kind of just hands it to you. I would like to just take a look at it, see if I recognise it. Yeah, like the top yeah. lifts off, like the the top half of like the kind of the beveled pawn lifts mm -hmm. off, and there's just a ball inside. Is this a religious symbol? And then CC just kind of looks up at you, and then closes its backpack over, and then its legs lift it back up again, and it stretches them up as far as it can. So it's maybe like, you know. The height of a normal person now, where his head is, uh, so still mm -hmm. still shorter than you, but of he kind of goes up and looks, and then he just starts um, like 
scary mandarin at you. So, <laughs> and they like nothing comes over your com to translate it. I don't mean to be rude to you, but it might be more helpful if you translated that to common for me. Like, kind of does that thing where it kind of purses its lips and it kind of like slowly nods and rubs its chin. And then just like clacks back towards the captain and takes his hand again. <laughs> no, I'll consider it. <laughs> Maybe. It does sound about right. But yeah, yeah, I'll take his hand. So, you're, you're given. I don't know. Did you ever ever buy like a magic kit when you were a kid? Yeah, I think so. Like, um. Like, it's the equivalent of. I'll see if I can get an image of it, right? Give me. Two seconds. I think I think I I know so like what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Chance that changes like color or whatever, or disappears or some crap. Yeah, like here we go. This is perfect. I actually, got an image of this. This is mad. Um... Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what I was thinking. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you post it? SF, SF General. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cup and ball. So like, yeah, that's what you're you're given, which uh, seems fine, right? And I appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, like <laughs> which is shit. Maybe CC has <laughs> more uh, more meaning to it than what he has conveyed, but that's definitely not something he was happy to do was help convey it. So, he ever. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be big on explaining what he's actually, you know, saying. I try nah. not to believe that. He takes it to a new level. Yeah. Ah, man, when he's screaming at you, you don't know what he's saying. He's probably like, conveying a million different ideas in like one sentence. You don't know what Scott Amanda's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very complex language. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I mean, also, just the fact that maybe he's, he's also just sighing really loudly, right? Like, maybe it is just. Oh, I think he's just screaming at you and, like, fucking, like, are you stupid? Do you not know the cosmic realities that you're speaking of? Why is he on Why not? Yeah, question nah, the, the very army. existence of this universe. Yeah. Get down! Ah. <laughs> so I think we'll just yeah there we go there's for every day at home I went to the effort of actually putting it into Aww. there is the gift yep there we have it folks the gift I think I'm going to buy that and <laughs> just like right under it like carve CC into the base of yep. it and just leave it on my shelf there you go the memento of the game collectible yep there you go <laughs> highest level patreons out there look what you could get <laughs> badly done merch gun um, or not. But yes, so after that, like, like CC just goes back to Zora and expects Zora's hand. Um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, uh, he'll take us back down to like his, his standard three foot height <laughs> on his good. walkie legs. Yeah. And, uh, Michael? Yeah, sorry, I had to pop away for a second there because I'd been holding we'd, in this for like we'd, 20 minutes. We'd never have known that. We'd never have known that if you'd just carried on the RP that I managed to segue <laughs> out over them to. Yeah. But no. I just, uh, I just wanted to apologize to my loyal viewers. Ruined. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Start oh. the session again. <laughs> Welcome anyway, to um, Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity. So we've approached the Corps of Galactus, right? Um, that's mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, no, so yeah. So it's pronounced um, Galactus. I'll have you know. Yes, I remember. I remember the the uh, Ultimate Galactus trilogy. Uh, so yeah, he, he uh, lowered the, you know, lowered the gun, sort of sling it in his back again, see. You know, he takes a minute, notices that people are busy. Like, okay. Are we, uh, are we good to... Extend the arm. Okay. It's Probably best that we uh, don't upset them because God knows what exactly they are. But your calm goes as I well and says, "Are you a religious man?" <laughs> um, I 
that was a call and noise, by the way. Lyco doesn't do the weird clucking noise. That's that's me. Actually, no. <laughs> it was some strange creature you hadn't noticed behind you. Roll initiative now. <laughs> um, Please don't make a clicker. Oh. Clickers are creepy. I think Lyco just looks at the calm for a second and it's like. Like he's not quite got his like gun over his shoulder yet. I think it's just sort of hanging by his side, like he's loosely got it in one mm -hmm. arm, like lifting the gun up and then they're like CC Um I really don't know how to answer that. And obviously if you're still looking forward you don't see CC's reaction, so yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm still looking forward. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's no, no reply. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh I guess it's uh I guess it's an awkward question for my kind. Sort of sticks a calm back. Anyway, it's it's probably good that you know we're encountering undead up ahead because I'd be more concerned if there were a massive you know, swarm of living people suddenly added. That would be pretty unnatural. Yes. We're expecting the undead, so... Living people are hideously unnatural. Their presence here would... Ah, oh, yes. Sam, um, you got a text message. Uh, weird. Yep. And it just says, Ruffle. <laughs> 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 what? Dick. What is Dick? Kid kid <laughs> Anyway. Um <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm sort of still monologuing a little like uh but we should be good. Like they're expecting us, we're we're wanted. Let's just try not to rile up the you know Undead hold. I, I didn't want to use the term undead hordes, but sorry, you know, carry certain connotations. True that. And it just keep walking, sort of. Yep, and like the corridor becomes like quite quite narrow to the point where it's clearly leading to like the side of the ship where there's like an entrance kind of hatch. Yeah. And uh, you pass by like a bunch of different like, I guess like you know, various crew. Is the best way to phrase it. How um, sentient do they seem? Like, are they looking at us going? All yeah, right, like, or are they going? Of, it's that way where like strangers walk into a new town, right? Where people are going about their business, but then when they notice you, like they'll stop and regard you, but then they'll just get on with their work. A couple of stink guys, maybe as well. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to tell if they're formulating opinions about you or not. I um, am. They just literally can I stop. Culture? Uh, to what Zombie end? Zombie culture. Because I've spent some time among the culture of the dead. But what's the answer you're looking for? Because I want to see, like, do I recognize any signs of this being like them appraising us, or is it just like an automatic instinct? That because... would be sense motive sense motive because the thing is right what my thinking is like obviously most undead aren't like Lyco mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of them literally are just zombies as we imagine them to be mm -hmm. so I will sense motive and uh, 28 uh, yeah it's kind of like when you walk into like a dodgy bar right yeah so I definitely get the feeling where they're being as you said appraised yeah they're not just looking at us as an automatic reaction mm -hmm. okay uh, in that case, Lyco will sort of give the universally accepted nod of, uh, I don't know you, but we are close enough together that it would be rude not to acknowledge your existence. Yeah, and it mostly seems to be Lyco they're regarding. <laughs> I'm among my people. <laughs> the return of the king! That's Barai. Sorry, Sir of yeah. Yeah. That's I'm fine with that, man. If they're all like, just thinking like the Emperor mm -hmm. Everybody just like, think like the Emperor, quite frankly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so that happens. And yeah, do you all head inside? Uh, yeah, I do. I will, I will, yeah. I will follow Aleko. 
I'm very much following Lyco's lead. I'm very much following Lyco's lead too. CC just I'm glad. shouts a bit at Zora. That's about it. Like, it seems to be, um, like, it grips your hand a tiny bit tighter when shouting at you. Oh. Um, He's scared! I mean, you, I mean, if you, if you want to think that, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm inferring that. Yeah, you, you can if you wish. Mostly it's just shouting at Zora, but yeah. Um... Yeah, and you all head inside, and then like the the, the door kind of whooshes behind you, and yeah, I think we take our break there, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I'll see you at nine. Um, uh, goodbye, everybody. I guess. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.